so first of all uh by way of payment for this welding <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be valuable in this high crime environment. Yeah, that will uh, that will not stop any of your cars being st stolen. Oh, there is, is a, key. a key. Yeah, there were two, but I left one on the key ring of a car I sold, I think. And uh, there is uh, that. That's actually got your name on it. <laughs> it does. Li literally, like but it's beautiful. I think that's yeah that's preset so it was quite a posh set mm. and it works it's just the volume control is very very scratchy that can be fixed. so yeah i can sort that for you that's awesome you get <laughs> a roberts leather and wood radio which must have cost a fair amount when it was new well, it's now, just wait, you, you're not escaping yet. <laughs> that's for John, so give that to John because that is the, yeah, that's the companion set to the speakers I gave him, the Amstrad. So, uh, where would you even have bought one of those from back in the day? Some shady mail order catalogue would service yeah. you with this, I'm sure. Or when you had to save up, like, from buying this a thousand a, litres of this petrol. Is a, yeah, well, this is a page 35 of the song, little tiny black and white advert. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'd relay the message to him that I wouldn't try uh, playing oh, no, any cassettes I'm, I'm going to tell him it. to put his most treasured cassette in this immediately. Abba. <laughs> yeah, it'll make short work of that. So, the thing to be welded is this lovely piece of bracketry from the standard which it fits on the bulkhead um holds the master cylinder because this you know creates where the bulkhead slopes this makes it um vertical you see for the master cylinders to sit on that come off because when I was knocking the mills pin out, it's the hardest job I've done. Mm -hmm. And the force I had to try and drift that pin out was enough to split them three little yeah, what, spots enough. or whatever we they just are. Clean this up and do a little couple of dab welds there that hold it. Well, you'll be able to see where I had to hit mm -hmm. it because that has gone slightly elongated mm -hmm. where the uh, throttle rod was whacking it but it's there for a bit you know make it a bit thicker so it doesn't wear wear the rod Aye. so you can do that for me yeah we can do that now right excelente in the meantime oh yeah we shall go and look at the cars this is the time that goes oh um yeah so if it fits there you go perfect and the key and is there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I should have but, actually checked that, but it doesn't lock when yeah. you do that. Well, I was just going to say because... The... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just 10 seconds oh. with a battery well, angle grinder, I'm sure we would, uh, would see to that. I'm sure if we flag down someone yeah. local in the what, their late 40s, yeah. they'd know how to break off one of these. Is, well, you probably just press the pedal hard enough. Is the key there, Peter? No, it wasn't in the box. Was it not? Right, well, I'll look at it at home because I know, I just, it's, it's, I know it definitely come with a spur key, which it I have. It doesn't lock itself. It's a nice visual deterrent. Yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, I will dig the key out for you. Right. Um, it's actually the first time I've seen Three six. Three equals six. And uh, a friend, the junk man, drove this all the way back from Sweden. All the way back from Sweden. Now that is how you collect a car, buy and collect a car.
That's a proper enamel badge. That was from the days when they made proper cars. Because these were the same, they, these were in production for a long time, weren't they? Or the same basic shell. The same basic shape was in production for a long, long time. Can, can I explain? Yeah. The car was Auto Union's planned answer to the to the VW Beetle and the, it was basically ready for production in 1939 but we know what happened so it was reissued after the war twice once in East Germany which was you know under Russian occupation as the IFA and in West Germany as the DKW mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, in 1956, in West Germany, DKW, they cut the car in half, lengthwise, and added 10 centimeters in the middle. Right. And the car was then produced with this, the, the große DKW, the big DKW, was then produced yeah, from 1956 to 1963, when the last ones were built. And in the east, they cut the car in half in the middle and stretched it 10 centimeters, and that became the Wartburg. Oh, the um, the Wartburg 31353, three. Yeah. yeah. And what DKW then did, after they had widened it, they did the same thing, they put 10 centimeters in the middle and made a photo version. The photo version is 10 centimeters longer than this. Right. Very good, yeah. So we're going on this breakfast run tomorrow. No, it's not a breakfast run. Rally then, a scenic run or whatever it is. We had, there is a breakfast involved though, isn't there? I don't think so. Well, there is food available where we uh, right where we gather well that's all i need to, to. well that's all i need to know <laughs> no it's uh, basically we join the h and h club in marble right and then we drive to uh, near nantwich to an antiques village as far as i understand it right good now let's see what's going on here he's i uh, don't see any smoke just yet pretty serious well happy with that yeah. well thank you I can now strip that and paint it and I can then get it clutching and breaking again so thank you yeah uh, what I've also done is just run a tap uh, through the the nuts there and the die along the um the bolt threads because they were extremely uh tight um i could only by hand screw them in you know a fraction of a turn so that was because it all rusted up um i was having to put excessive force on with the uh, spanner uh, just as it stood so i've just ran these along the threads to um, clear them out and what was it five sixteenths five sixteenths uh, twenty um, threads per inch TPI so that has helped a lot I've just cleaned this up with the uh, wire brush in the drill and it's come up really well finished it off with a bit of emery uh yeah thank you peter for that that's uh brilliant that welding that back on i'll just run through it with a drill bit just the size of the hole just to um even it out a bit 
and you can see there it's still slightly elongated where probably I was whacking it but nothing can be done about that now um, there is some wear on the throttle rod anyway where it passes through there um, not a <laughs> not a big worry at all really uh, it, metal on metal it was end off I am tempted though I mean it's not bad it's come up really well uh, a bit of just very very light pitting I am tempted just to give this a skim of filler just purely for cosmetic reasons I'm sorely tempted but then were where do you, where do I draw the line with the car? Um, where do I draw the line? Don't know. I am tempted just on this uh, piece of bracketry. Very nice piece of bracketry. So the last job before I uh, refit this, uh, I didn't actually fill these imperfections because I thought, well, it's pretty good steel anyway um, and I mean the rest of the car mind you having said that it's all quite smooth here under the engine bay don't know it's uh, it doesn't particularly matter it's a functional object so the last job before I refit that bracket will be just to give this area a clean up treat any rust uh, remove this loose flaking paint uh, get that out the way the treat all that and then I can uh, reinstall it and I'll fit some new um, rubber uh, grommets there for the uh, push rods on the master cylinders so not a lot left to do just need a reasonably fine dry day so I can do this and complete it I'll do all this area I think while I'm at it all in the vicinity of it anyway and uh, then I can reinstall the master cylinders and start thinking about getting it clutching and braking again as I have recently refitted the uh, uh, slave cylinder I put new rubbers in down there with a new uh, flexi hose which was incidentally I found a Morris Minor uh, brake hose to fit um, it's just just the right length so that'll do the job there uh, I connected all that up if where is it now where is it it's here. yeah there it is new boot and everything all cleaned up so that's ready to go, just awaiting the master cylinder, then I can start bleeding that. Uh, brake wheel cylinders, they want re-rubbering because a couple of them were leaking. I've got uh, some rebo kits for those. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully get it mobile again then.